Despite major flaws in its mapping service, management shakeups, and a free falling stock price, Apple still managed to come out on top. Admirable, right? Exactly. Fortune has named Apple the world's most admired company for the sixth consecutive year. Here's a little more on its decision. The business savvy mag credits Apple's admiration to its $13 billion in net income last quarter, making it the most profitable company in the world during that period. There's also Apple's large fanatical customer base, and because it doesn't fall into the price competition, its products remain iconic, seen as prestigious devices. So how does the company earn the coveted title? Apple earned it based on surveys from a jury of its peers, that is, executives from other companies hailing from more than 30 countries. Hey Group details some of the attributes involved in the selection, including ability to attract and retain talented people, innovativeness, wise use of corporate assets, and effectiveness in doing business globally. And another of those required qualities is financial soundness, something with which Apple has struggled. But amid all the hype about Apple's new title, CNET reports Fortune's senior editor says the most admired title isn't all it's cracked up to be. Perhaps the admiration of one's peers is a lagging indicator, akin more to a Hall of Fame vote than to a Most Valuable Player award. The company, whose late founder aimed for it to be insanely great, remained pretty damn good. The years to come will determine if, for Apple, that's good enough. Despite the potential lagging Hall of Fame nature of the title, Apple still managed to pull off both the world's best-selling smartphone, the iPhone 5, and second best-selling smartphone, the iPhone 4S. The company was also voted Fortune's top spot for most admired in innovation. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey. Multiple sources, a broader view.